Hey Garage Dwellers, welcome back to Cafe Racer Garage. I am Dan and this week I was not actually going to post a video and the reason behind that was because I'm doing some stuff behind the scenes and one of which is trying to create more space in my garage which isn't exactly that exciting. However, how I'm going to do that is by creating a new space and I'm trying to put a bit of an extension on the side of my house. It's gonna be a bit of a shed, I guess, to put uh, this amazing air compressor in and a few other bits and pieces. And I'm gonna use as many of the materials that I already have to create this, uh, just to save cost. It's currently 6 a.m. I've still got my coffee in hand. I'm about to hit the gym, but before I do that, I just wanna show you what I'm talking about. So this is the space that I'm working with and I have a mini excavator coming in this morning just to pretty much level this out a bit because it's actually on a bit of a slope downwards, especially here. So I've got to put a retaining wall here uh, and then have that pretty much flat and eventually put a slab down and everything like that. Pilot Air uh, 15 amp duplex uh, air compressor is going there because there's two 15 amp plugs and I've just got to figure out the roof and everything. And I also already have a bunch of sheeting which came from my mom's place. She bought it a few years ago and never ended up using it. So she had no plans to use it. So I thought, oh, yep, cool. I'll grab that and uh, use that as my roof. It'll be a perfect area for some storage to free up some room in my garage. So that's what I'm up to. Today we're going to cut some things, we're going to move some things and we're going to mount some things. If you're building a motorcycle, this video is going to be very helpful for you and a bit later in the video I'm going to explain a few things on what not to do if you're building a motorcycle of any kind. So stay tuned. So what we're mounting here is the rear end of the full of stainless steel exhaust system that I built. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link to that in the end. Uh, but the mounting point that I'm going to use is the original center stand. There's a place there that's perfect for it. So I'm going to mount it through there and once this bike gets completely just stripped down and pulled apart. I'll be able to get in there with a grinder and grind off anything that's not needed. And what I'm going to use to mount it, this is the original mounting point for the rear mufflers. Uh, it's got a vibration rubber uh, mounting point up here. That's going to be cut off. New rear pegs are coming on eventually uh, when I get to that. But the mounting point is going to be up there. And this is the mounting that I'm going to be using. I'll leave a link in the description uh, to these guys as well. They're perfect for what I need. They fit perfectly and I just need to run a little bracket off there and weld it on to get it fitted. So let's get that done. So what we're actually going to be moving today is this guy here. This is the choke cable. I'm going to be relocating this. Uh, it may end up going somewhere else completely as in uh, null and void if I ever replace these carburetors with a set of probably Maconis or something. But for now, I do need to use it. So I will need to make a home for it. So we'll get that done as well. Get a bracket up for that. If you're wondering why I have a clamp and a bit of timber sitting here like this, is because when you build something like an exhaust like this, generally speaking, you'll have movement and twist and uh, heating, shrinking, and everything that's going on when you're welding. And that's exactly what happened. So there's a bit of movement between the two, and this one sat a little bit too far in, which I'm trying to pull it out at the moment with that clamp, just to get it pretty damn spot on to where it is. It's almost there now, it just needs a little bit more tweaking so that they're even, height-wise as well as distance from the bike. Once I've got that down, I'll make the brackets, get it mounted, and it'll be sweet as it'll stay exactly where I need it. So while the excavator was here, I wanted him to dig down to one of my stormwater pipes, which I had a plumber here with an eel and a camera on the end of it. And he said that this little spot here has some uh, roots in one of your pipes. So while the excavator was here, I got him to etch down further and further, just ever so slightly. Just, and then he chipped the top of the stormwater pipe, which is perfect because we we're gonna break it open anyway. So after he did that, he jumped off the excavator and then got a shovel and started digging around it for me to try and clear up enough room. And just as he was swinging the shovel into the ground, a spurt of water just went shooting up in the air and he hit the mains water pipe. 
no big deal we went and turned the water off and then i raced down to the hardware store and they ran out of joiners so what i had to do was get a male and a female uh, connector and i just joined them together which made a joiner and i thought you know what i'm gonna get two of these things i'm gonna make two of them and i came back and just as i came back connected it all back up again we turned the water on and then all of a sudden another shoot of water went straight up in the air we're like man i'm so grateful that i grabbed two of these things brings me to a point i have this little saying that you may have heard before which is two is one and one is none if you have two of something and you break it or you lose it you have another one if you have one of something then you break it or lose it you have none so it's like two is one and one is none it's a really cool saying i've been using it for years i love it uh, it, it doesn't work with everything obviously because you can't have two cars and two bikes and two houses but you know if you're going to buy something and you may go through it like if you're going to buy something like a, a grinding disc buy two or buy four just have spares and this is what I did and it worked so it saved me having to race down to the hardware store again and go and get another connector I thought I'd mention it in case it helps you Through the process of building your motorcycle, you may need to modify, change, or even cut things off the bike to get that look that you're after. And in doing that, just really think about what you're doing before you do it. And the reason I'm bringing this to your attention is because there's a part on this bike that I'm about to show you that I've left for till about now in the build, it's something that I put a little bit of thought into. And a friend of mine actually came over and we had a bit of a chat about this particular part. And it's part of the engine mounting to the frame. And I'll show you what it is, but just think about this while I explain it to you and think if there's anything you're going to do on your bike that could potentially be of the same sort of caliber. Uh, if you change it, is it going to weaken anything? And if it needs to be done by a professional, get it done by a professional. Don't try and do everything yourself because although I encourage everybody to have a go and do everything you possibly can, there's sometimes you just need to let the professionals do things. I really want you guys to be safe. So that being said, let me show you what I'm talking about this bracket here. And talking to my friend, we, he was asking me what's left to do on the bike, I was explaining it to him. And this is one of the things that I've just left to the end because I wanna think about it. And as you can see, there's a bolt here, goes through and it's welded onto the frame. So it's the engine mount. And I wanna get rid of it by cutting it there. And I haven't done this for the reason as I just need to figure out how I'm gonna do it that's gonna keep it just as strong as it is now. Because if I cut it there and get rid of that weld, grind that off and just to get rid of that bolt hole that's useless now because it was for something that was mounted here probably the air box or something uh, by cutting that and making it half the size of the weld and half the size of the material then I'm potentially weakening that corner of the bike or that side where it's mounted although it may not be weakening it really that much because there's a bolt there there's a bolt on the other side that's mounted and there's two at the front so correction there is actually six mounting points on this engine there's also one on this side and one on the bottom on this side it may make no difference whatsoever, but I want to keep it the way that Honda had it because they obviously have worked this out, so why change it? But I need to keep the same amount of material, but get rid of this bolt hole. So there's a couple of options, but the one that we came up with was still cutting it across there and getting rid of it, but using the same amount of plate, uh, same thickness and everything, and just make a section that sits pretty much flat on top, like a triangle, if you can imagine sits there and it's welded across the top here and that's doing the same thing it's using the same amount of material I could potentially just cut it here do a slice there fold that over weld weld done and that's probably what I will do and that is using the same amount of material because it's gonna have the same amount of weld all the way across it, it has there so you're losing that weld but you're gaining it over this side hopefully that makes sense and if it doesn't just watch the video and it'll make sense as you watch me do it
So once this is all powder coated in black, it'll all blend in and it will just look like it came out of factory like that. And that's exactly what I wanted. Uh, the original bracket was MIG welded, so I MIG welded this little piece here. I didn't want to TIG weld it and make it look neat because it would have just stood out and I just wanted it to blend in and disappear. Uh, and it's actually probably stronger than the original bracket. And the reason I say that is because uh, it's got a right angle now and it's got probably a lot more strength side loading uh, rather than what it had before, which was just a flat plate going around here. Not that it really matters, honestly. It's, it's probably overkill, but I just wanted to make sure I used the same length of weld that they originally had and the same size uh, piece of plate that was welded on here. But now that that's done, uh, let's start working on this choke cable bracket, figure out a place to put this. How incredible is that sky? I was just doing some uh, setting up for a photo and I just turned around and saw that and I thought I'd share it with you. This is the photo I'm trying to do. Just a little bit of a Christmas shot for my Instagram. If you're going to be doing anything like this on your bike, I'll leave links to the tools that I've been using. I can't recommend one more than the other, only because they all do different things. They're for different sort of spots to try and get into those little tight confined spaces. This thing is, I guess, relatively new to me compared to the rest, and it's actually really good. It, it's kind of like a miniature grinder. You can put like these little pads on it, or I've got to get some more sanding pads for it. And you can just get in there in those tight little spaces where you can't get a grinder. So that thing here yeah, is awesome. Uh, you will need, obviously, an air compressor to run these guys. Like I said, I'll leave links to all of these tools uh, in the description for you. It really is such a strange shape, it's starting to look like a bracket out of an alien aircraft. If you've enjoyed this video, click here to see how I built this entire exhaust system from scratch. It's a really good video to show you that things don't always work out the way you first designed or first planned, and you have to make some changes along the way. So really good video, even if you're not gonna build an exhaust system. And if you've seen that video, I'll leave a playlist right here with a whole bunch of videos similar to this one. That being said, I'll see you in the next one.